ladies. Everyone has been talking recently about their challenges and their goals for 2011. And so I decided to share my uh, goal or challenge for the upcoming year. All of us have uh, tons and tons of scraps and pictures. So one of my challenges is to use my paper scraps and also my pictures that I have stockpiled and to put them into something creative or useful. So this is a old address book that I found at my local thrift store. And as soon as I saw it, something about it just caught my attention or grabbed my eye. And so I, I decided to get it. And I especially like this binding that um, was used to construct it. And I also like this little feature, this little um, circle here. And I'm planning to put something in there, maybe a picture of myself. And when I thought about doing something with this book, I thought about maybe uh, cutting these away from the pages and um, just using that maybe for a journal or something like that. But then I thought again about it and I decided to keep those and use the letters as inspiration. So I decided to title my book, Keeping Time, Collecting and Sharing. And it's my Scrappy 2011 Challenge. And I did those letters with my Gypsy and used um, a couple of cartridges there. So for each month of the year, I'm going to take two letters and do something creative with um, those two letters using those as my um, inspiration or to jumpstart my thinking. And so this month, I have the letters A and B. And what I create will be either a scrapbook layout, it could be a tag of something of that nature, but it will be something that will uh, help me to get to use all these scraps and pictures. So for the first month, this is what I created. I did uh, two layouts. This first one, using the letter A as my inspiration, I um, cut this using my Cricut. It says amazing. And the pattern paper here has the word snow. Sorry for that glare. And it says amazing snow is falling everywhere. And I have a little snowman that I cut with my Cricut. And this is a picture of the snow that we had um, early part of last year. And um, here is a snowflake that I also cut with my Cricut. Over on this side, I have a picture of my daughter, which was taken at a, um, a bridal shower for one of our relatives. And this was one of the games that we play where you have to construct a, a dress, a bridal dress using toilet paper, and then the bride would pick which dress was that she liked the best. And so that's where that picture was taken. And so I incorporated some um, scrapbook elements. This word treasure I cut with my Cricut. This is a Martha Stewart punch. This flower I also cut with my Cricut. Added some bling in the middle. Here's my journaling spot. And so for the letter B, it coincides with my daughter's name, Brandy. And then I just stamped the month. And so each page also has a back side. And here on this side, again, another picture of my daughter. This is a, a photo mat that I used and I edged it with a Martha Stewart punch. Here's the Sizzix leaf die. And this I also cut with my Cricut. It says dream big. And so there is again the letter B. So for the month of February, I will be doing the letters C and D. And as you can see, I've already started with um, that page. So as I said, each page will be either a scrapbook layout or maybe a tag that I decorate. 
And so hopefully that will help me to um, stay creative, keep doing something, even though sometimes we get in a fog and we get that or we lose that mojo. Um, maybe this will help me to keep at least creating something. Another thing that a lot of you are talking about as far as goals is to recycle or use things that you already have. And so I too uh, would like to challenge myself to do that, to recycle more objects. So this is something that I recycle. This is the packaging from an EK Success or two EK Success punches. And I took that and used my Tim Holtz uh, Movers and Shapers tag and book plates die. And I cut that uh, packaging using that. And here I just uh, use a regular shipping tag and I stamped it using an, an older collection of my favorite thing stamp set and I think it's called Friendship. And um, these sentiments are also from that same stamp set. I added some bling on in the center there and I used my Broken China Distress Ink to distress that. And on the back is just a journaling spot. And so here's how the tag looks. I added some bling on the flowers here on the front. Again, I used my Martha Stewart punch and I used about three of the butterflies to sort of give that some depth. And I tied a ribbon on the bottom and on the back, I just add one single flower there with a little um, dew drop in the middle. And here is a Sizzix flower and also a bling there in the middle. And I tried to get as much of the packaging um, words here as I could. It says, for your creative life. And um, here also on the front. And so the tag just slides in. And so this is my recycle project for 2011. So uh, every month I hope to share those with you, what I do in my book and also a recycle project. So thanks for watching. And